Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today is Wednesday, December 6th, and I'm bringing you a, primarily a Walmart haul, but this is a U.S. Walmart haul. Um, this past weekend, just a few days ago, we went for a one-day overnight trip into Grand Forks, North Dakota, and picked up some items there. Um, usually around that first weekend of December or so, usually every year we try and get down to Grand Forks and or Fargo and pick up a few things because there's just some different grocery items and stuff that we don't have here at home in Canada. Remember, if you're watching my videos, if you are have already been a subscriber for some time, you'll know that I am in Canada. I'm in, actually in the province of Manitoba. And so sometimes it's fun just to go into the States and see what other items you guys have down there. For those of you that are watching in the States, see a lot of these will be common things that, you are, that you're used to seeing and having all the time. But for us here in Canada, some of these things are things we don't have. So I went to film this before now, but when we got home from the trip, things have been in a little bit of turmoil since we gotten home. Because as you can hear in the background, we have pet birds. And unfortunately, while we were gone, apparently I when I was rushing around feeding the birds last second before we left the house. I, apparently I left one of the cage doors open and the one little guy, our Indian ring, that cricket who you've seen in some of these videos because he's usually chattering away, um, got loose in the house and he was messing around in the house all weekend. And then by the time we got back, he was hungry and thirsty. He didn't know how to get back in the cage. But the worst part of it was he, I guess he got onto some other bird's cage who bit his leg. And so he's been bleeding and we had to go to an emergency after hours that Sunday night when we got back. They don't really do birds there, but they gave him something for pain. And then yesterday we had to follow up with our avian vet and his foot is all bandaged up because he won't stop picking at it. And basically it's turning black. It looks like they might have to amputate that toe. So very long story. Um, don't really know what we're going to do with that. Um, there's a couple different choices there if that happens of this particular vet, I think would like to sedate him and do it as a proper surgery. Whereas other people who own birds who've had experience with this have said, no, you don't have to be that invasive. You could simply um, have it frozen and then, you know, they'll take it off that way and then cauterize it, which would be probably less expensive and less dangerous for him. But anyway, so it's now Wednesday and we got back Sunday night and I'm only filming this now because it's just been a stressful couple of days dealing with that unexpected issue. And now that there's vet bills on the table, now I'm regretting doing all this shopping in the States. But it is what it is. Can't undo anything. And yeah, we're just hoping that Cricket pulls through. Anyway, on to what I picked up here. Actually, my daughter bought the Mountain Dew, this orange flavor. And then I like the Pepsi Mango. And I only saw one case, so that's why I just bought the one. I probably would have bought two if there was more. And then this, uh, the Squirt drinks. I had one of these before in a bottle form, and I really liked it. I'm not sure if we have the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer cereal here, here at home. Uh, my family says no, we do not, so we grab that, and then the Winterfest Pretty Pebbles. And then I have kind of become a little bit of a gnome fan. I didn't used to think gnomes were cute at all, but my friend, a lady, uh, like a girlfriend of mine that I hang out with, she's a former co-worker of mine, we get together a couple times a year. She likes to buy gnome things for her husband, because she knows her husband likes them, so she buys things with gnomes on them, and slowly but surely I've been swung over. So I found this uh, pot holder. And actually, it's got a sugar cookie mix inside and then a cookie cutter. So I actually bought two because I'm going to give her one for Christmas and one for myself. And I guess it comes to the sugar cookie mix. Ghirardelli chocolate. We don't have a lot of that here in Canada. See, here in Canada, when it comes to baking chips, um, our brand that we have is called Chippets. We don't get the Ghirardelli baking chips here in Canada, and we certainly don't have Nestle. It's Chippets is the brand we have here, plus store brand of different ones too, like Superstore will have their brand, and Walmart has their brand, or whatever. But as far as name brands, Ghirardelli, sometimes we do get some of these, some of these type of chocolates, but as far as baking chocolate, no, we don't get that. But these I bought, I'm because I just, I know we do get some Ghirardelli chocolate squares at Christmas, but I just don't think we have all these flavors. I'm thinking that we probably don't have, well, we might possibly have this here, but I don't know. I haven't seen it in stores, but certainly the peppermint hot cocoa we don't have, and I don't recall seeing the peppermint bark here, although I could be wrong, in which case, being that our dollar is worth less tea in, in the U.S. than it is here at home. If we do have any of these here and I didn't need to buy them in the States, well, then I guess that's on me because, you know, that we, I guess we spent more with the exchange in that rate. But I don't believe, I know we do get some of these Ghirardelli different types of squares here at home, but I haven't seen these flavors. And so I thought, well, this is unique. We'll grab some. And then this one, certainly we haven't seen here at home, the gingerbread cookie ones. 
And then these are the Hershey Kisses almonds. I don't believe we have these here. We have all kinds of Hershey Kisses here. But, and, you know, like the candy cane ones, the sugar cane ones, or not sugar cane, sugar cookie ones, different ones like that. But I don't recall seeing the almond ones here. And this little guy, I bought this last year at Walmart in the States. And I thought about my friend at the time. And I thought, oh, but I just bought one for me because we're kind of on a limited budget. And I regretted not picking one up for her. And so this year I found the exact same one in Walmart again. So I grabbed it. And it, it's, it's holding one of those little vintage retro ceramic Christmas tree things. And this actually lights up if you, I don't know, you can't really see it in this lighting because it's middle of the day here or morning, so it's pretty bright. But yeah, the little Christmas tree lights up. So I thought that was cute. I saw that along with the pot holder. I'm sure she'll really like that. And this as well. There's a spatula. I bought one for me, one for her. This has a gnome cookie cutter. And it's going to, of course, a little gnome on the spatula. And then this is a gift for a friend of mine. I just thought he would really like that ornament. Actually, I would have got one for myself if there was two, but I thought this was really, really cute. Um, I got some Jello pudding powder. This is cheesecake flavor. That is not something we can get here in Canada. Usually, although this summer I did find a store that here that carries some U.S. items once in a while, and I got a couple then. But I use this primarily. I make a strawberry banana cheesecake salad, and this is a the the pudding mix that it calls for. Probably could substitute vanilla if you wanted, but this is I think this particular pudding is what makes it. Lindor chocolates, we have lots of those here in Canada, but I have not seen the birthday cake flavor, so I saw that and decided to grab it. Some Rolo dark salted caramel. We do have Rolo candies in Canada, but we do not, I have not seen this flavor here. Excedrin migraine, I actually bought three of these. These are 200 caplets. I bought three of those. One of them I've taken to work for my, uh, one of the supervisors at work, she's going to pay me for it. Um, my daughter and I both work at a grocery store here in Canada and that this is her daughter, my, my daughter's boss, who the third one was for. And then I decided to try the Excedrin Tension Headache as well, because just, just because I've never tried that. And then Pop-Tarts. We have Pop-Tarts here in Canada, but not all of these different types of flavors. So this one is Boston Cream Donut. That's not one we have here. And Apple Jacks. And then over here we have M&M's milk chocolate. We have M&M's and we certainly have milk chocolate M&M's, but not the chocolate bark. I have not seen that here. And then M&M caramel cold brew. These are flavors of M&M's we do not have here at home. These, I don't know if I needed to buy these really. We do have M&M's here that are red and green but they are mint. These ones are just milk chocolate, but they're red and green. And honestly, as simple as that probably sounds, oh, red and green M&Ms, why do you not have those here? I don't know, but I, what the only ones I've seen in store here lately this Christmas season has been the milk, the mint ones, which is fine, I love those, but sometimes just for a basic chocolate chip cookie at Christmas with red and green in it instead of brown chocolate chips, it's nice just to have some red and green milk chocolate chips of some sort like to put in there for for decoration so I grabbed a couple bags of those and if we don't put them in cookies then we'll just eat them and this I don't know if I really truly needed to buy this about two bags of this milk chocolate and peanut butter flavored baking chips I mean in all honesty we have peanut butter flavored chippets here at home and we can have we can buy semi-sweet or milk chocolate chips at the store so if I wanted to make a cookie with milk chocolate and peanut butter flavored chippets. I could probably just do some of each in there, take from two different bags, but this all comes in one bag. And I don't know, I probably didn't have to do that because like I said, we do have chippets that are Reese's peanut butter flavored and semi-sweet chocolate flavored or milk chocolate flavored chips. And I probably could just take from two different bags to do it, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I saw this and I thought, oh, it's all in one bag. It's all in one, that's really cool. And went and kind of got suckered in by the idea of it and grabbed two. And this right here, I bought this as a Christmas gift to send to my brother in the mail. I have to send him a package. I'm a little bit frustrated right now because I bought him a hooded plaid, um, like not a pullover sweater, but it's kind of like a hoodie, I guess, like a zip up or what have you. Zip up or button up, I can't remember which, but it was a plaid one with a hood and it's fairly quilted and warm and I can't find it in any of our bags. It is just simply missing. I remember when we went through the cash register at... Um, at Walmart that I took it off the hanger and I handed the hanger to the cashier but I'm wondering if he thought maybe I was handing the whole thing back because I unless it's still sitting in the car in a bag that we did not bring in but I I don't know I, I haven't seen it I looked through every bag I finally unpacked all the bags down here in the well in the kitchen today and to put this out I can't find it anywhere which is frustrating because my brother lives 
in Saskatchewan, which is a province west of here. I have to get this package mailed to him. So this, because he likes hunting and fishing, I thought this would be kind of a neat thing that he might enjoy. But it is the 6th of December already, and if it's the 12 days of Fishmas or 12 days of Christmas, then it needs to get in the mail, and that means I need to find that sweater. But I have a feeling that it might have gotten left behind, which would be very frustrating if it, was, if it did. And then some different types of coffee, or a different type of coffee, rather. I, we, we do have one IHOP restaurant here, but certainly I've never seen that brand of coffee in the store. And then Hostess Twinkies that are a mashup. We don't have those here. We do have some Twinkies here, but not that. And then we went into natural grocers. Uh, the teacher I work for, I work at a grocery store here, but I also work as an elementary school um, lunch supervisor. And so he asked me, he paid me to bring him back some protein powders from natural grocers and a um, sabuli. It's because they have different flavors down there that uh, that we don't have here. So I, while I was in there, I got looking around because my sister and brother-in-law are vegan. And I thought, well, you know, maybe if there's something there that would appeal to them, I can grab a couple of things and I can put a Christmas package together to send them, just something small. These all say vegan on the back of them. There is a uh, chocolate, ra chocolate dark, smooth dark chocolate with raspberries, smooth dark chocolate with ginger and orange, smooth dark chocolate with mint crisp, and smooth dark chocolate with pink Himalayan salt. So you can see the uh, vegan symbol there. So they will like that. And I don't know if they like jerky necessarily, but these are vegan jerky. So I thought, okay, well, let's send them one of each and they can try them. And I don't know if they're jerky people, if, like, if they liked beef jerky before they decided to go vegetarian and then, be, and then vegan one day or what. But they, if they were somebody that liked jerky, then perhaps they might like these. If they don't, well, I've only sent them one of each, so it's not a huge issue. But this one's teriyaki, uh, mesquite, lime, hickory smoked, and Thai peanut. So we'll see what happens. And I know that tea is a safe bet for them. And I just can't recall if we have these flavors of tea here at home. I don't know that we have the, black, the salted caramel black tea, so I grabbed them that. And then the herbal tea as well. So that'll be a small little package, and maybe I'll send something else with it that I, it's hard to know like I'm not vegan myself so it's hard to know what they like or what would appeal to them but these things I know will be safe at least so and then I got this sign I'm not sure if I'll hang it on a door or put it on the front step or what but it says we're like really into Christmas and of course if you know me if you've been following me at all I guess I haven't really done a video yet of our Christmas decorations but it, once I do you'll understand what I mean I am a Christmas nut I wait until after Remembrance Day, November 11th, and then right after that, the Christmas tree goes up and all the other decorations, and they are up until about the end of January because I love Christmas. I wait all year for it. So I thought that was a very appropriate sign for me, for this house. And then a couple marinades in a bag. I didn't buy too many because I have some left over from previous shopping trips. Smoky Mesquite this time. I thought I would try that. And Sweet Teriyaki. I like those. Um, Dove Chocolate, Milk Chocolate Cherry Cordial. Two bags of that, and then a couple bags of these Hershey's cinnamon flavored baking chips. I do like these, and I know we don't have them here. And then this other sign, I also really like this. I have a cross-shaped sign hanging in my living room over the piano, and I thought that could I could just take that one down temporarily for the Christmas season and substitute it with this, just because it's more seasonal. And then some Peep Snowmen. These, I bought three of these, and three of these little mini peppermint bark squares um i have a couple of people in mind one of the young men that i've kind of adopted at my work i could probably i was thinking i was going to give him one of these and one of these and there's a young man that i work with at the school lunch program as well who just had a birthday and i'm thinking of putting a gift card and maybe these in a bag for him and then the other one of these might just go in my daughter's stocking and then these sprinkles for baking these Christmassy ones I bought these. I thought these were just really cute. I know they're pretty basic, but I think I was also suckered in by the Frosty the Snowman container. And then lots of these little neat colored pink and blue with little shapes and little pearls and stuff. I just really like that. And then for my sister, I was going to send her. I bought a nightgown a while back at Walmart, and I am going to send that to her in the mail. And I remember her daughter telling me that she likes almond roca, and I don't see that in stores here very often. So I grabbed one when I saw it there in the U.S. I'll bring that back and I'll put a package together for her. And then here are the booblies that my teacher wanted. This one is a lemon sorbet, a citrus cherry, and then over here we've got a coconut pineapple and a triple berry. 
and these are the um, protein powders that he wanted. Apparently this is a brand that we cannot get here in Canada, so I grabbed those for him. He paid me already for that. And then I do some volunteering down at a, a mission, kind of a shelter downtown, downtown here whenever I get a chance. Whenever I'm not at one of my two jobs, quite often I'm there, and my boss there is a Minnesota Vikings fan, and so I grabbed him this because I know that he will absolutely love it, or at least I'm sure he will. There's living up here in Manitoba, you don't see a lot of Minnesota Vikings uh, merchandise here unless you go across the border or order online. So, and then the other, like I said, the other thing I'm missing from this, the only other thing is the um, shirt, and I just have a feeling I just cannot locate that particular receipt right now. I'm hoping that maybe there's one la one last straggly straggler of a bag kicking around in the car and that, that it's in there. If not, I don't know where it is. I have a feeling that if that's the case, if it's not in the car or my daughter didn't accidentally take it in her room, then that probably means that it got left behind. Uh, the, the cashier was really big on no bags left behind and he kept spinning the thing around to show us and everything. And he was great. But I have a feeling when I took the hanger off and handed that to him, I think, and then I put the shirt on the belt, I didn't watch. And I have a feeling that he might have thought that I was giving him the whole thing back because I think he might have put it aside. And then down here... Um, also in the family here, um, my husband bought himself some of these V8 energy drinks. And beyond that, that was about it, really. There wasn't that much else that was bought. He bought some uh, ice drinks. Um, uh, so I think ice is just the brand, but they're, I don't drink them, but there's some type of drink that he picked up to take to his mom, which is my mother-in-law, and that's sitting out in the hallway already ready to go there. And I'm not sure if I showed you the paper plates or not. These were also in Walmart, these paper plates with little gnomes on them. And this one, and I think my daughter picked out the bottom pattern that doesn't really... It's Christmassy, but it isn't anything different. Like, I went for these ones because they're gnomes, of course. So, anyway, so that is everything other than that shirt, and that's extremely frustrating to me that I can't find it. That means I'm going to have to go looking either at Walmart here for a shirt quickly in the next couple of days, or else maybe to Warehouse One or something and find something that would be appropriate. Not that it was, like, the most special hoodie in the world. It wasn't like, oh, this is the best thing ever and it's we can only get it in the States. No, it was just a really nice hoodie and it's um, fairly quilted and warm. And I'm just... My primary concern right now, we can easily go to another Walmart here and look for something. My concern right now is I just want to find that receipt and make sure that we didn't pay for it and then leave it behind. If we simply didn't pay for it, then okay, fine, we forgot it. We screwed up, whatever. But if we paid for it and didn't bring it behind or didn't bring it home with us, well, then that's a real pain because Grand Forks is about a two and a half hour drive away and it's now Wednesday. So it's not like we could just go driving back and say, yeah, this, th this shirt we bought on Sunday three days ago, did you find it? No, it's been three days. So if they found it and we paid for it, they, you know, they would have put it back on the rack and we'd be we're just out of luck so as long as I could find the receipt and I see that we weren't charged for it then okay fine it's disappointing that we don't have it but at least we weren't charged for something that we didn't bring home so at any rate sorry to ramble on but uh, I just wanted to show you everything we picked up or at least everything minus that one item at least and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you're subscribed feel free to leave a comment down below and, and hopefully give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this and yeah that's it for right now um, make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already done so and if you are make sure your notification bell is turned on because I do get paid towards the end of this week and I will probably be doing a grocery haul at that point like a proper I mean I know this is like this is a grocery haul well no this is more of like a U.S. souvenir snacky haul type thing so make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on because probably either by the end of this week or on the weekend sometime I will probably have a superstore haul to show you. The only, oh, the only other thing that I don't have <clears throat> on the counter that we did pick up, and I don't know where it went, I think my, my daughter must have put it away already, but there was two bags of Supreme pellets for our birds. We went to Petco and grabbed some more bird food there, some more parrot food. And they're just, we have Supreme fruit pellets here at Petland and PetSmart here in Canada, but uh, when I find them, we go to Petco in the States, quite often there are some varieties or flavors, just, just some differences of ones that we don't have here. So when we're down there, sometimes I grab a couple of extra things for them to try. And so we did get two bags of that as well. So anyway, time to stop rambling and get ready to go to work and go feed these birds because apparently they're acting like they haven't seen food all week. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I hope you're having a great week and we will see you in the next video, everyone. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.